it's Shirley Madly Weekly and today I thought I'd do you a vlog on guinea pig sounds. Um, so guinea pigs communicate with sounds and behaviours and not all guinea pigs are the same so um, you need to get to know your individual guinea pig but generally speaking the sounds that I'm going to give you the examples do stand for that but for guinea pigs each one is different so because they have just different personalities so you need to get to know your guinea pig really well watch their body language um put it into context at the time of what's happening with your guinea pig so number one is ralph is purring or burring he didn't want me stroking him at that moment so he was warning me before his behaviour escalated basically so that and that is a deep purring burring sound um and people often mistake it for being a happy sound for some guinea pigs it might be um but for ralph at that moment it was a mummy back off sound Uh, so clip number two is Nutmeg and Bumble um, and they were doing this explorative chatter sound while we were having floor time. I just put them out onto the floor and I put a nice big pile of hay and they were happily bubbling and popping around um, making a, a sound that sounds like a popping sound. Um, Ralph was purring and burring, but I don't know quite what he was annoyed about at the time. Maybe the girls were ignoring him. Um, Piggies. Piggies. <laughs> oh, hello. So moving on, clip three, nutmeg. So Nutmeg at this time was warning Ralph to stay away from her, particularly her back end and her food, because she was eating at the time. Um, it was a high pitch sound that she made and she faced him, which basically says back off. She turned to face him, made herself look big and basically said Ralph back off. That's what that body language tells me. Uh, number four is Ralph is popcorning. All four of his feet left the floor and he was um, making this low happy sound. A purring sound but it's different. This is why you have to really listen closely for what the different sounds because oftentimes sounds do sound the same. So number five is a happy chatter sound. This was just, I took this just while they were just running around in the cage. They're making this low burp, burp sound. Um, and you can tell they're happy, they're eating, they're exploring, etc. Um, again, these sounds do sound very much alike. So it's a case of putting them into context and looking at the body language. So, number six is the dominance pairing between two males getting to know each other. There's teeth chattering, um, and it's obvious this isn't a good situation. Um, it's okay, but it needs to be monitored closely. Um, they're just trying to sound each other out at the moment. But, of course, you should monitor this closely because this could quickly escalate into being something a bit more... So need to watch this behaviour closely because it could escalate, blood could be spilt, so we need to be careful of that. Ha <laughs> ha 
Number seven, teeth chattering. This is a sign of an angry or upset guinea pig. Um, and basically it's a warning for other guinea pigs to stop what they're doing and, and stay away from them. Always remember to put into context the sounds your guinea pig is making at the time. If they are exhibiting signs that actually they're not happy, but the sound they're making suggests they should be happy, um, they actually might not be happy. So it's always put it into context, look at the body language. Um, how do they look? Are they trying to, are they going right up on their hind legs? Are they trying to make themselves look bigger? Um, are they hunching up? etc so always look at that body language they could for, for various reasons if they're hunched they could be in pain which of course you need to get them to the vet as soon as possible um, but just look at it in the context of what they're doing at the time of course guinea pigs can make many more sounds um, but these are just the ones that I tend to see from my guinea pigs um, there's also there's sounds like birds uh, it sounds like birds chirping um, which is a very interesting sound. It's not it's not heard very often um, and if you do hear it you're very lucky to hear it. Okay so thank you very much for watching our vlog on guinea pig sounds. If you have any questions whatsoever um, just pop them in the comments below. Um, please like, share and subscribe and visit our website www.trulymadlyweekly.co.uk Thank you very much. Thank you.